Hey everybody, uh, Elevated here. Today I'm going to try to help you guys learn how to use an eBoot Builder and make your own eBoot and install it for Advanced Warfare 1.05. So I'm going to put these uh, in the link description. Uh, and I think I think it was Promise who built this. Uh, good looking bro. Uh, so I'm going to put this link in the description. This is the actual Ebu Builder. And then I'm going to put this in the description too. This is a clean elf from the game. This is what you're going to make your Ebu bin out of. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up uh, the actual tool. And it will have this little, little guy right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to click File and open and then uh go ahead and navigate to that folder i put it on the desktop because it's just a lot easier to find and then um what you're going to do you're going to select that clean elf and click open and when it opens up it'll let you uh enable basically enable all these check boxes for you to decide what you want i'm just going to do an anti-ban and a, a freeze fix right now so we'll click file and build and then you can build the whatever kind you want if you're on decks you can do debug or whatever and uh, I'm gonna do bless just for the fuck of it right now and then uh, go ahead and save it I already made a file right here anti band and freeze fix only because I knew that's what I was gonna do so I'm going to uh, put the name in here anti band plus freeze Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and save that, and then you'll see right here status building eboot and then pop up. Done creating your eboot. If you experience errors, blah blah blah. Okay, there we go. So now that that is done, you can go ahead and click over here, and you're gonna see that inside here, this is your eboot. So what we're gonna do is uh, I don't want to drag it out, so I'm gonna right click and copy, and then. Right here, I will just paste it on the desktop. Close this, and then uh, to install the eBoot, what we're gonna do is go right here to uh, FileZilla. I'll also put a link for that in the description. And um, this will be right here. What this is is this is basically lets your PC connect to your um, PS3. Uh, you put in your your IP right here and just hit enter, but I'm gonna go this way because I already already have mine. And then this is this is your computer, and then this is your PS3. What you're gonna do, you're gonna hit Dev HDV0. Some of you already know this, some of you don't. So I'm gonna go through a detailed instructional video right now. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna find your folders and all these other ones, but you just wanna go to the game underscore all or all lower caps. And then in here is all your games. Uh, the LES plus 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 you're like if you don't know what these little numbers are or which game is which what you can always do is you can go to multi-man and um, hover the game and press square and you'll have the whole permissions file option file whatever and um, just look on the left and you'll see the game and underneath it it'll have what region and what number uh, right now I believe it might be this one this is another way you can check if if you're not sure I'm I'm actually at the moment out in my garage having a session so I can't look on multi-man right now so I'm gonna go ahead and that's not it um, let's try this one sorry bear, bear with me guys um, hmm. Three one two seven zero. I think this one's it right here. Call of Duty Ghosts, right? Okay. <coughs> oh, uh, bear with me, guys. My bad. I'm totally prepared for this shit, right? Okay. There we go. <coughs> Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So now that we know it's this one, it's uh by the way it's B L U S three one four six six. So you're gonna navigate right here to uh just basically find it, 
enter it and then navigate to usrdir it's the directory and then once you get in here um, you don't have to scroll down you can just like drop it in here but you're, you'll find your eboot bin here so what I'm gonna do is okay this is on my desktop let me uh let me show you something real quick make sure that you rename this take all of this shit off and uh, all caps eboot and then uh once you name that let me let me refresh this real quick. We want the desktop. And then there's the eboot bin. So we're gonna just take this and drag it over and drop it on. And it'll automatically give you an option to overwrite. And just click OK. And then I accidentally opened it. Uh, once you do that, right down here, you'll see. See it's transferring is already 50% done. It goes pretty quick, depending on your internet speed and how big it is. Um, I know some GTA ones will take fucking forever, but okay. So once you're done here, you're gonna wait, and there you go. Everything normal. It'll say right here, successful transfers, and then you can go ahead and close this, and you're done, man. You uh, that is the way to install and build your eBoot. So till next time, thank you guys. Peace.